hello viewers and welcome once again to my youtube channel before any other thing i know i'm very guilty i would like to use this point to apologize for my inability to update you with equations it's just an incident beyond my control but thank god everything is in control so i apologize for that today as usual we are going to consider this simultaneous equation we have an equation that says 4 to the power of x is equals to 9. The second equation says 9 to the power of y is equals to 256. That our mandate is to find the square root of x, uh, product of x square, the square root of x, y. So we know that equations, different equations comes in different forms. So, in this case, we have a simultaneous equation, uh, a combination of simultaneous equation and indices. So, let's see how we can tackle this equation. So, solution. Solution. The first equation, 4 to the power of x can be expressed as 2 to the power of 2x is equal to this. 9 can be expressed as 3 squared. As 3 squared exactly that means uh, when we take the argument that is when we consider the square of the right hand side and the left hand side and we consider the argument to be the same that means we can uh, equate this two square so we can have 2 to the power of x is equals to 3 and I call this my equation 1 so let's consider the second original equation this is the same thing uh, this 9 to the power of y is the same thing as 3 to the power of 2y is equals to this 256 is the same thing as, as 16 squared. So I have 16 squared. So the same thing, when I consider the argument of the two sides to be the same, that means I will liberate the two, uh, this 2. So I'm going to have 3 to the power of y is equals to 16 and I call it my equation 2 so let me divide the board so I have 2 to the power of x is equals to 3 I have 3 to the power of y is equals to 16 this is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2 so so having gotten this let me start from the first equation which says 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 so there's no way i can make these two bases to be the same the only thing is to apply either natural log or common log to both sides so let me apply natural log to both sides that is ln to both sides that means i'm going to have uh, ln of 2 to the power of x is equal to ln of 3 so we know that this guy x will, will have to come to this point so x into ln of 2 is equals to ln of 3 so i'm looking for x that means i need to divide both sides by uh, ln of 2 so this divide by ln of 2 this divide by ln of 2 so x is now equals to ln of 3 divided by ln of 2 so that is that so since this is the value of x let's find the value of y the same thing from this second equation 3 to the power of y is equals to 16 and there's no way i can make this two to be the same the only thing is to apply the natural uh, the natural log just as in the case of first equation to both sides so we are going to have in order to cut corners we are going to have y is equals to the ln of 16 divided by the ln of 3. That is that. So, we know that this 16 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 4. So, y is equals to the ln of 2 to the power of 4 divided by the ln of 3. So, y is now going to be, we know that based on the law of indices, this 4 have to come here so to multiply ln of 2 so we have 4 into ln of 2 this is 4 divided by ln 
of 3. If you like, this is the same thing as y is equals to uh, 4 into ln of 2 divided by ln of 3. But remember, we are looking for the square root of the product of x and y. So let's find the product of x and y. When I say product, I mean uh, times multiplication. X times Y. So XY, XY is going to be a combination of this multiplying this. So we have uh, this, this X multiplying this. So ln of 3 divided by ln of 2 into ln of 2 divided by ln of 3. And this is multiply. Everything is multiplying Four because it's multiplication. If I like, I can bring this four here. It make no difference. So since that is the case, we know that this ln of three will take care of this ln of three. This ln of two will take care of this ln of two. So the product of x and y is equal to four. And the square root of this product is equal to the square root of four, and which is equal to plus or minus two. So we can see that the answer, this, it's actually equals to uh, plus, um, uh, plus or minus 2. This is all I have for you for today, my viewers. If my video is interesting, useful, or helpful in any way, don't hesitate to subscribe, as that is the only way we can hit the ground running. Bye.